I'll now explain how to use a Japanese toilet. Okay, this is just uh, one type of Japanese toilet. Here it is. Which may confuse foreigners. Uh, it's a um, kumitori, or common collected toilet. Uh, so-called because um, the waste is collected by someone in a truck and they suck it out of a tank which is somewhere underneath the toilet there and they come with a truck just outside the window and suck it up. Uh, they're very popular in Japan these uh, toilets still because uh, of the existence of rice farming, the need for irrigation and all the irrigation channels means that uh, uh, there are fewer main sewers or main, uh, people connected to main sewage, so there's still many houses not collected to main sewage who have to have people come and collect their waste. And um, it does have several features which are a little bit different. Uh, first of all, since that it's collected and you have to pay per litre of waste to be collected, the flush is kind of minuscule. And I'm going to flush it now, put some blue um, sort of flush dye in there, and you can see how little... <laughs> Oh, on, almost none at all. You see that? It only flushes about a cupful. Um, the other thing is that at the base of the toilet there is a flap, and uh, this is why these toilets are called potton, uh, because the trap door, if you um, um, defecate on the trap door, the trap door is uh, sprung. Uh, just the right level so that uh, it opens and the feces fall into the pit below. However, there are certain problems with this. Um, first of all, uh, uh, well, it doesn't always fall down, and then you have to use the flush and hope that the flush can, the, the, the sort of cupful of water can encourage it to fall down there. And the other thing is that, unfortunately, sometimes feces can be stuck to the trapdoor. And to demonstrate this, I prepared uh, some um, uh, artificial um, turd. Here we go. It's just uh, some tissues uh, dyed with the um, sort of f toilet flush blue stuff. Okay, and I hope this doesn't all fall down. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, oh dear. That was a bit, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't happen like that. But it can happen that you're left with um, turd on your trapdoor. So what do you do? And you try flushing it a few times, and you've still got this uh, streak of turd. Well, the Japanese have thought of everything. You know, you don't want to sort of just leave it there and sort of leave it for your host to see. Uh, what you do is you get out this gun here. There's a gun attached to the side of the toilet. Um, and then you fire the gun. Well, I'll, I'll fire it at the bit that I got on the seat, first of all. You fire the gun at your turd, like this. And... Uh, I'm just washing the dye off the turd. Oh, yes! See that? The trap door opened and the turd disappeared into the into the abyss. So, um, you know, then you're happy. And you can normally get it pretty clean just by going like that. You can also use this as a bidet if you want, uh, this, this uh, little thing. We, we find that our daughter plays with it and the room gets really wet, so sometimes we turn it off at the tap there. But uh, that's how to use a kumitori or potton uh, Japanese toilet.